In this video, I will show you how to nest a shortcut file in another shortcut file. Now, why would you want to do that? We're going to address this in this video right now. Hi, my name is James and if you're new to my channel, I have you to leverage tech so that you can create greater impact in your life. Now, what is nesting and why would you want to do that? Nesting a project file or nesting a .mlt file means you are putting a smaller .mlt file that you have already uh, edited in another master, so-called master .mlt file. The reason why you want to do that is uh, three reasons. Imagine you have a long video that you need to create, for example, an hour or two hour long video. Now, managing and editing that video becomes uh, quite a hassle to manage because it's such a large project. And especially if you have a lot of transitions, uh, effects and elements that you've added onto that video. By breaking that project up into smaller segments, it's become easier for you to handle and you also reduce mistakes because you can actually go back and just edit that segment alone. The other reason to nest projects is it allows you to reuse certain elements. For example, an intro, an outro, or maybe a subscribe button or something that you want to reuse in that project. So by just keeping that .mlt file, you can easily just bring it into the uh, project that you are doing and you can just place it onto your timeline. Let's dive into the screen right now and we'll show you how you can do that. In order to nest .mlt files, what you want to do is actually to just pan out your video first. Now imagine if you want to break out your video into four sections, so determine when is the first part of your video. Now, after you have done your edits in your first part, save that as your .mlt file. You may want to call it as part 1 or anything that makes sense. You can continue to do so for the part 2, part 3, part 4 and so on and so forth. As you can see on the screen right now, the first part here corresponds to a certain segment of your video. Remember, you are not exporting the video, you just want that MLT file and you're just going to save that MLT file. Do the same thing with the, the second part, third part and so on and so forth. When you are ready to assemble your video into your final project, open your master projects. This is just another shortcut project. And then what you want to do is just to drag the .mlt file onto your timeline. You can also click on file, open mlt xml as clip and then bring that into shortcut. Now once you're done, you can just export that video from the timeline as you would export any other video project. It will take a quite a while for a shortcut to export the file because it is a large video project. For nesting to work correctly, remember this thing, this is very important. All your MLT must be of the same video mode, which means it must have the same resolution and the frames per second. And within the main project file, if you are just using one final track, then you can just export without an issue. If you are using more than one track, then you will need to use the chroma key simple uh, filter to ensure that your track is transparent. That's all to nesting shortcut MLT files. If you like this video, just hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribe and do check out my playlist on other video tutorials here on the screen right now or in the description below.